Welcome to the Pacific Crest Trail. You are joining me at mile 358 out of 2,650 of my southbound PCT through hike. In the last episode, you joined me on my section from Snoqualmie Pass to White Pass here in Washington, where I mostly hiked in forest and tried to avoid getting norovirus. In this episode, episode 6, you join me as I venture out into Goat Rocks Wilderness, a PCT through hiker favorite hike around the base of Mount Adams, and finish my final miles in Washington as I make my way to the Oregon border. Together, you and I will explore 147 miles through stunning alpine and old growth forests over the course of seven days. We will hike from White Pass all the way to the Bridge of Gods, marking the Washington-Oregon border. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a long distance hiker. And if you're not new here, hi and welcome back. White Pass now. Time to start my next section. It's midday, so I'm going to just do like 10 miles today, probably. It's hot, but I'm excited to get back on trail. This is spectacular in here. I don't know how, but I have so much energy today. I just feel jazzed. I'm gonna stop at a spring up here and get a bunch of water and then just keep going because this is so stunning. What I started to notice is that after a rest day in town, I often feel really great on the first day of a section, even though my pack is the heaviest since I'm carrying all of my food for the section. Today I ended up hiking 15 miles since I was motivated to get up into the Alpine and it was absolutely worth it. I'm happy camper here. I feel very content camped up here in the Alpine. And I thought it would be a good time to give you a little tour of my tent and show you how I've been setting things up. There's my pillow, my Sea to Summit pillow. This is my mountain hardware sleeping bag. So then I usually have a couple things here at the side, my extra battery for my camera and memory cards, my battery bank for charging. And up here, I like to keep things I want to be able to grab easily. My AirPods, my chapstick, my inReach, and my headlamp. I usually put my hiking clothes at the foot of my bed, my extra stuff socks, my hiking shoes at my feet there, extra layers here, first aid kit and things are in there. And then I have my backpack right here. And out there I've got my extra water and water sack and my shoes. This is where my air mattress ends. So I've got this whole like foot of space to put all my extra gear. That's my setup. So I've been getting really cozy. I've been really happy with my tent so far. And I always look forward to getting into my tent at night. Okay, I have five miles left for the day. It's 5 p.m. I'm gonna try to get there by 7 p.m. And I just drank the last of my electrolytes, so I'm gonna try to be light and fast for the last five miles and then camp near a little lake. So I have to go flat, 
up about 600, 700 feet and then back down to where I'm going to camp. So I think I can do it, but I have to like get my music going, get focused and just get it done. I'm in bed now. Out here kind of late and it's actually really dark now, so I'm ready for sleep. Today I'm going to try to do like 23 miles and I'm going to hike right around Mount Adams, like on one side. So that's going to be neat. There's a trail, I think it's called like Around the Mountain Trail or something. I've been hiking for a couple hours now today. I did get going around 8.30, so a little bit later, but it's not too hot today. There's some good breeze and um, try not to take too many breaks. That's always the hardest part on certain days. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Okay, you too. Have a good one. You okay, just passed a couple hikers. I just stopped for another lunch break, I guess. I thought I just had one like a few miles ago. I don't have like pep in my step today at all. And even though I sort of slept in, hung out my tent, I didn't make myself coffee this morning, which honestly, worst idea ever. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? I just need to make myself coffee, okay? I just, I must. <laughs> so I just had some now, it's like 2.30. I had a coffee. I have some electrolytes. My trail friends got me into having electrolytes. Love it. I don't crave Gatorade nearly as much as I used to. Um, so I'm gonna finish those, eat some more food. And I finally got to the Around the Mountain Trail, Around Mount Adams now. So I think it's gonna be cruisier now. I had to climb like a decent amount to get up to here. So I'm learning, I would say, about how I'm gonna possibly maintain this lifestyle for the next four months or however long it takes me. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna try to do at least a five mile session. I mean, look at this place, you know? It propels me to go when I am in such a beautiful place. That is Mount Adams, and my husband Brian and I have climbed Mount Adams as well. So it's actually really cool to know I've climbed these volcanoes and then I'm hiking near them. I know what it's like on top of there. Like, that's really cool feeling. I'm in my biggest pickle yet on trail. I pushed an extra couple miles to get to a spring to camp which means it's now 8 p.m. Sun just set behind me and the spring's dry. So I've got about 750 milliliters and this will be by far my driest camp yet. I've always made sure I had two liters. I'm really thirsty. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cook dinner. I don't think I have enough water for that. This is definitely going to be my diciest night yet. I'm having some coffee now. I have hiked about eight and a half miles today. And I just stopped to eat last night's dinner. I made it down to a stream where I was able to cook myself dinner because I couldn't cook it last night. So I made myself my dal, which was so good. It's like an Indian lentil soup. Oh, so good. 
it is such a good one to do uh, dehydrated, if you're wondering, because it rehydrates so well and it's so flavorful. I had a bag of Skittles for dinner last night. Skittles are great treat during the day but for dinner it is just not it's just not what I was looking for and my goal is to do another 15 miles today here's an example of a camp spot so you can just see a few flat spots people have cleared it's a really common campsite. Hello. Have a good day. You too. It's gotten pretty smoky now. I can't really see any views and I can definitely notice the effects as I'm breathing. I've been climbing for a while now. So I think the wind might be blowing the smoke from a fire in Oregon because there's none within 50 miles of me. So yeah, the wind's just blowing the right way to really smokeify here. So just have to pay attention to how my lungs feel and everything. It was around this time that I started seeing less through hikers on trail for a few days. The Pacific Crest Trail Association was hosting a trail days event at this time in Cascade Locks and most hikers who were in the area went. I opted not to go because I find big crowds overwhelming. I did feel a bit disappointed to miss out on the experience. Made it to camp. I'm camped at a lake tonight and I think I have a pretty big day tomorrow, so I'm already in bed, cozy. I had mac and cheese for dinner, and I am going to try to fall asleep soon so I can get up early again. It was nice to get the miles done early, I will admit, so I'm going to try to do that again. I already did my stretches, and I just have to fill out my maps and then go to bed. Good morning. I'm just leaving the lake I camped at now and it's just a little side trail so just have to get back to the PCT and water sources are very sparse today so there's one in 10 miles and there's one in 26 miles so I think I'm going to try to camp 26 miles from here which will make today my longest day yet When there's forest fire smoke in the air, it makes the light look golden, almost like at sunset, but all day long. It looks quite beautiful, if you're able to forget about the reason behind it. Still very smoky, and I'm definitely noticing it on my eyes, my nose, my throat. I'm headed down switchbacks right now, the bottom of the switchbacks. I should be where I want to camp tonight, which is a river spot. And... I'm really actually surprised. It's 6 p.m. and I left at 7. So if I finish before 7, I'll have done 26 miles in 12 hours or just less, which feels really good. <laughs> and I think my body is finally getting used to being on trail. I did it. I hiked 26 miles today and you know what? It didn't feel that hard. Like it was definitely hard, don't get me wrong, but it didn't feel like I was doing my absolute max possible. 
I think I've done a decently good job of building up to that mileage and so now my body is like okay this is just a little bit more than what you've been asking me to do good morning I had a pretty good sleep last night there was an animal roaming around close to my tent calling out a lot and I think it might have been an elk it didn't sound like a deer I woke up at 5.30 and today I want to try to do maybe 23 to 25 miles because that'll mean the next day, tomorrow, <laughs> I only have to do 10 miles to get into Cascade Lock. So I'll have like a pretty much full day there and then I'll have a full day the next day. So it'll be nice to have that extra time off, organize things, post my videos, all that jazz. If you haven't seen my short form videos, I've been posting them daily, so you can check those out too. They're just different style. I'm still in forest, but I have started to climb up out of the river valley, so the trees are getting a bit smaller. I'll be climbing for a oh, bit out of breath. I'll be climbing for a little bit longer. Um, and then dropping down to another river valley and then my game plan is to climb up again camp at the top so it's another smoky day just listening to some music trying to stay focused thinking of video ideas I want to make in the winter if you have any ideas for what you want to see from me once I'm done at done editing all these videos let me know in the comments I ended up picking up my pace faster than I had anticipated and I packed myself more dehydrated dinners than I needed throughout Washington. So I started eating some of my dinners at lunch as well, which was a nice consequence. I just finished a late lunch, so starting my climb. I have eight miles to go today, all uphill, and it's a dry camp, so my bag is heavy with water. And every time after a break, a long break, I'm slow to start. It just takes me a little bit to like get the joints lubricated again. But what an absolutely beautiful stream. Everything about it was spectacular. The smell, the sound, everything. This is a really cool way to finish Washington because it's so like Pacific Northwest, like old growth forest, ferns everywhere. And yeah, I'm just actually really glad I'm finishing with this part of Washington. I started like way in the Alpine. And now I'm down in old growth forest. I'm starting to feel the effects of solitude. I haven't really talked for longer than like a minute to anyone for two weeks or something. And I heard a group like laughing with each other when I was having lunch. And I was like, man, that sounds nice. So I'm really hoping I meet some Sobos again soon, because it is solitary out here. Morning. I am lazy this morning because I've got 11 miles to hike. 
So I'm just taking my time because I don't think I'll be able to check into my um, hotel until like 4 p.m. or something. So I'm like not in a rush, but I wanted to get here so I had a shorter day today so that it was like kind of like a half rest day, I guess. Anyway, I am procrastinating a little bit, so I have to do my whole pack up now. <laughs> okay, I got going at 8.45, and I've got 11 miles of downhill to go. <laughs> I've got a podcast going on, and I'm just going to try to focus, but basically I think I'm just going to drop down off this ridge and be in the forest. That's what I'm guessing. I guess we'll find out. Two miles to go and I'll be done Washington. I'm at the Bridge of the Gods, which means I am done Washington. I just have to cross over into Oregon now. <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm feeling a bit emotional. I did it. I made it through Washington. Wow. What an incredible place to finish Washington. In the next episode, episode seven, I start the Oregon section of the PCT and I can't wait to share it with you. See you then.